Well, hello, everybody. It's wonderful to have you with us. I pray wherever you are that you know that God is with you exactly in the place where you are. Well, it's a very exciting day because today we have launched a brand new Impactors Online service. Now, what's Impactors? Impactors is the faith community of the Catholic Guy Ministry. And so many people around the world have said, gee, I'd love to be part of that, but I'm too far away. Well, you are not anymore because we're going to bring it directly to you. And uh, it's going to be very exciting. Go to this address. Go to this address on the screen and look for the word schedule. Look for the word schedule. And find a time where in your time zone that this is shown throughout the whole week. So it starts on Sunday and the services are there. And then they stay for the entire week. And you find a time that you can join us for a time of prayer, a time of community and a time of being together. This is not a replacement for the daily devotionals, which are about something completely different. This is an opportunity for people to come and to participate in the life of the Catholic Guy ministry and to go deeper in your walk with God. Well, that's a great transition into where we are today. Um, We are starting a new series in these days called Going on a deeper walk. That's right, going on a deeper walk. We've been talking about the Holy Spirit powered life, about how do we have the Holy Spirit to be the power of our life. And I could have called this series Walking in the Holy Spirit, but I wanted to pick up something uh, even deeper in the title about spiritual depth. So it is about walking in, in in the Holy Spirit, but I want to go to a, go to a deeper place. Now, if you are brand new, this is a series for you. If you're not so sure about your faith, you will. This is for you. If you're someone who's very mature in your faith, this is for you. Have you noticed we live in a world of comparison? We live in a world of comparison where we look at others and we compare ourselves to others. We do it all the time. Have a look at many of the television programs on TV. We look at people's homes. We look at their jobs. We look at their, the types of things they, they, they have. We're always comparing ourselves to others. And sometimes our standard of what is success, what is happiness, is dictated by looking around at what others have. And the reality is is that our happiness and our standard should come from God. That God, when he made each and every one of us uniquely, knew who we would be. He knew what we should have. He knew our circumstance. And that doesn't mean the circumstances we're in are particularly according to his plan at times, because sometimes circumstances, events, uh, the, the, the wrong of others can put people down and affect dramatically their life. But that in a place where we stop and we say, am I in a, in a good place with God? is determined and meant to be determined by God and not by what us looking around at what others have. Have a look at this. In Psalm 37 verse 7 it says, Be still for, before me, uh, be still before the Lord and wait patiently for him. Do not fret over those who prosper in their way. Again, be still before the Lord and wait patiently for him. Do not fret over those who prosper in their way. This psalm, the the psalm is saying to us is this, is be patient, wait upon God. Be patient, find your fulfillment in God. Be patient for the Lord and his work in you. And, And it says, and do not fret over those who prosper in their way. Don't look to the left or the right. Don't look and say, look at what they have. Look at what they've achieved. Look at how powerful, successful that they have. I've met, I've met wealthy people who are constantly looking around at what other people have. I've met people who don't have much at all and who wear and sometimes wear their I don't have much at all almost like a little badge of, well, look at how tough I'm doing it. Look at how hard I'm doing it. And, and almost as if that is a better spirituality, that is a better way, as, as strange as that might say. 
is that we all have this tendency to be looking at others when our focus needs to be upon God. For a long time, I was like that. For a long time, I was in that place where I looked at what others had. I would, I would visit with people and depending on what they had or didn't have, I'd admire things that people had and go, oh, if only I had that, well, that's what I'm going to aspire to. And then through the years, through my mentors and, and through prayer, coming to realise that, no, 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 my focus needed to be upon God because God's bigger game is getting me to heaven. God's bigger game is that he's in relationship with me. And maybe if I had those things, maybe if I achieved those things, whether it be whatever they are, that they might detract from the journey that I'm on that draws me closer to God. And so, and so as it says, be still before the Lord and wait uh, and wait patiently for Him. When, when years ago, when I was being taught how to pray, the one thing that I was constantly taught by my mentors was this, sit before God. Be patient for God. Make Him your longing. Make God your desire. And as you make God your desire, He will fulfill you. God will fulfill you and you'll find your way and your fulfillment in who He is. And if you stay in that place of, of seeking after Him, you'll find peace, you'll find satisfaction, and you will find that sense of, I feel complete within myself. I now have been able to hang out with people who are very wealthy and powerful. I've been able to hang out with people that are very famous. And there's something in me that goes, but I don't want what they want, but rather I want what you want, Lord. And that's the place we all need to go. That's not to say we're not tempted and certainly not to say that I'm not tempted by those things of what others have, but rather to come to that place and say, Lord, I want you more than I want anything else. That's the place of holiness in our life. That's the place of being fulfilled. And that's the place of the deeper walk of what we're going to talk about in these days. Loving Father, we give you thanks and we give you praise that you call us to a deeper place. Lord God, may we walk more deeply with you. O oh Lord, allow us to hear your voice in these days. And Lord, I pray today for the launch of the Impactors online service. May it be a blessing to people in this next week all over the world. And Father, we make this prayer in Jesus' name through the power of your Holy Spirit. Amen. Don't forget, go and have a look at the online service. Go to this address, look for the word schedule, find a time in your time zone around the world. Hey, God bless you. Talk to you tomorrow. And don't forget wherever you are, God is never ever far from you.